Did you know that France and Germany are working on a next generation tank, not just an upgrade, but a futuristic high tech battlefield system that could, you know, really redefine how wars are fought in the future? Welcome back. Today we'll talk about the main ground combat system, also called MGCS, a project jointly developed by Germany and France. This isn't just about replacing old tanks like the Leopard 2 or Leclerc. No, this is about building a completely new kind of war machine packed with AI, drones, sensors and a whole network ecosystem. Let's dive into the story behind this bold European defence collaboration. To understand the MGCS, we need to look at the context. Right now, Germany's Leopard 2 and France's Leclerc are two of the most powerful tanks in Europe. But here's the issue. Both are several decades old. Yes, they've been modernized multiple times, but they're still based on Cold War era technology. And after watching the Russia-Ukraine war unfold, European leaders are waking up to a harsh reality. Modern warfare is changing and Europe must catch up fast. Drones, cyber warfare, satellite guided missiles. Today's battlefield is more digital than ever before. So instead of investing more in old platforms, France and Germany decided to build something entirely new, something that can serve European armies all the way to 2050 and beyond. That's how the main ground combat system was born. But this idea has been in the works for years, and it wasn't always smooth sailing. Initially, France's Nexter and Germany's Krauss Maffe Wegmann, or KMW, formed a joint venture called KNDS. But there was a third major player, Germany's Rhein Metal, another big defense company. For years, they all argued over who would lead the project, how the work would be divided, and which country would control export. Finally, in April 2025, they reached an agreement. A new joint company has been created under KNDS with equal shares, one-third each, for Nexter, KMW and Rheinmetall. This means equal responsibilities, equal risks and equal benefits. Now they can finally focus on building the MGCS instead of just debating who's in charge. This agreement is being seen as a major milestone, not just for the MGCs but also for European defence cooperation. Now comes the most interesting part. What is the MGCS and how is it different from today's tanks? Well, MGCS isn't just one vehicle. It's what defense experts call a system of systems. It includes a next generation manned main battle tank, several unmanned ground vehicles, swarm drones for surveillance and attack, real time data sharing systems and high tech sensor fusion and artificial intelligence. The goal is to create a networked battlefield where the tank doesn't fight alone, but with a team of machines all linked together by smart software. It will have superior armor, a brand new weapon system, active protection to shoot down incoming missiles, and maybe even directed energy weapons in the future. It's being designed to dominate both open field battles and urban warfare. And because the MGCS will work with drones and sensors, it will spot enemies before being spotted itself. In short, it's not just a tank, it's a command center on tracks. So when will it be ready? The plan is to begin replacing the Leopard 2 and Leclerc tanks by the year 2040. Yes, that sounds far away, but designing such a high-tech system takes over a decade of research and development, testing and prototyping. The MGCS project is part of a larger push to modernize Europe's military industry, and it's not just about Germany and France. In the future, other European nations like Spain, Italy or Poland could also join the MGCS platform or purchase it for their armies. This also strengthens European strategic autonomy, reducing dependence on American tanks like the M1 Abrams or Israeli systems. But of course, no project of this scale is without challenges. First, there are still differences in national priorities. France wants more independence in exports. Germany wants more industrial input. Second, developing futuristic tech like this requires huge funding and political stability. If there are delays or budget cuts, the project could fall behind, just like many European defence programmes in the past. Still, with the new joint company now officially in place, the MGCS project has a solid foundation to move forward. In conclusion, France and Germany are taking a bold step. MGCS could become the most advanced ground combat system in the world. It's a mix of tanks, drones, artificial intelligence and battlefield connectivity designed for the wars of the future, not the past. 
Whether it succeeds or not, one thing is clear. Europe is finally realizing the importance of military innovation.